Jin Gun. Once again, I came back to tell you that story. Today's story is very interesting. The title of that story is A Kind Traveler. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we are so thankful to be Lord for the love and care and protection. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to tell the love and kindness of Jesus to others. Lord, bless all the children and their family members. Give them the knowledge and understanding from above. As we are going to learn the story, help them to keep in their minds and practice in their day to day life. Lord, we are sinners. Forgive our sins and shortcomings. Be with every child who is silent in this story. Help them and guide them. Give them good health and strength and happiness. This we will see, say, ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of the story is A Kind Traveler. So Jesus was traveling many places and he was telling the love of God and he was telling the stories, so many stories to the people to understand through these stories. So Jesus as he was traveling, as he was telling to the people, more and more people, they were coming to hear his word, hear his stories. They never heard about God. So, now they got the opportunity. So, while Jesus was traveling place to place, many people, they followed him. So, one day, a man followed Jesus. He wants to hear Jesus. He wants to hear what he was telling to the people. So as he followed Jesus, he got a question in his mind. Okay? He asked Jesus, Master, what can I do to enter into heaven. So, Jesus said, what does the law all about? So, this man was a lawyer. He knows about the laws, about the people. And he knows what to do and what not to do even. Okay, so this lawyer, when he asked the question, Jesus said, You know the laws. Then this lawyer said, Yes, he knew that what the kind of a laws Jesus was asking him. So he said, he talked about it and he told about the Ten Commandments. And he, even he told first four commandments to talk about God. The other six commandments talk about, about the people, a neighbor. Okay? So, Jesus knew that this lawyer knows all the laws. So the second question he asked Jesus. He asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus knew that this man knows all the laws. Okay. Then the second question this lawyer asked to Jesus, he said, he asked, who is my 
Niemand. Quickly, Jesus, he said a story. So, Jesus always tells the stories to the people so that easy for them to understand. They'll understand and they'll live according to that. So now, when this lawyer asked Jesus, so who is my neighbor? Then Jesus told him a story. And the story is a good Samaritan. So he told a man was traveling or taking a tree from Jerusalem to Jericho. So while he was going and there were so many mountains and as he was traveling some of the robbers attacked him. As it was getting dark they came behind the hill and they hit him and they brought whatever he had and they took the money, they took the clothes and they hit him so bad that he had a fall. He fell down. So these robbers, they took everything and they left him there and went away. So the same time, a priest was making the trip the same way. Okay? So this priest, he saw the man lying on the ground with a lot of herds. Blood was flowing from his body. But he saw him. No doubt about it. He saw him. But from far he saw and he knew he, if he helps him, the trouble will come to him. So what he did, you know, he thought that he was a Samaritan. So the priest was a Jew. So he thought, why should I help a Samaritan? So the priest walked away from him. And the second person, another man, came along. He too saw this man and he was a Levite. And you know, Levite means a man who held God's work. So, this divide, he saw this man and he thought, he also saw from far and he thought, I am a zoo and he is a Samaritan. He doesn't go along with me to the church where I am going. So, why should I help him? So, he did not help. He walked away from me. And so one Samaritan he came along the road, down the road, and he saw he was walking, he was going on the donkey, and he saw this man was lying on the ground with a lot of blood on his body, you know. Quickly he got down from the donkey and he went closer to the man and he lifted him up and put him on the donkey and walked beside him and went took him to the one inn. Inn means like a hotel. 
So he took him there on the donkey and he told whatever he needs at that moment. He paid the money. He stayed whole night with him and he served him. And he, early part of the morning, he went to the innkeeper and told him whatever he had the money, he gave him and he said, you make him well. If you, uh, if you need more money, when I'm coming back, I will wait. Say that he will be well. Then the story is ended with that. This is the story of uh, Good Samaritan. The one Jesus told the lawyer and all the people about the good Samaritan. At the end of this story, Jesus asked the lawyer this question. Which of these men do you think was a good neighbor to the hurt man? Then quickly, the Lord said, He that felt sorry for the man and helped him. Jesus said, Go and do as the good Samaritan did to those who need your help. So, boys and girls, who love Jesus will always be loving and kind to everyone, no matter which church they belong, no matter what color their skin is. But try to help everyone, one who is a need. When you are in the school or college, somebody hurt, something happened, you quickly go and help. Oh, he doesn't belong to us. He doesn't belong to our family. Don't say that. All of, all of us belongs to one family. That family you should help each other, kind to each other, love to each other. That shows we belong to one family. The Bible says, look, 10th chapter, 27th verse, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God and thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God and thy neighbor as thyself. The moral of the story is when we love Jesus, we will be loving and kind to everyone who needs our help. So boys and girls, Whatever, whoever needs your help, don't hesitate. Go ahead and help and be kind to them so that they will be happy and you will be happy. And even God who is in heaven, he also So, the Great Samaritan, we should practice that in our life so that we will be blessed. 
Thank you for listening to the story. Again, we'll meet next week. Till then, God be with us and God bless you all. Now we are going to hear a song. My God loves me and all the wonders I see. The rainbow shines through my window. My God loves me. My God loves you and all the wonders you see. The rainbow shines through your window. My God loves you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. As these children who are watching online, please bless them and protect them. Thank you for the story given to Grandma Gompa. Bless Grandpa Gompa as he takes a recording of these videos. Bless Grandma Gompa so that he can give more of these videos. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen.